Welcome to the Lajuma Mountain Retreat. We are situated in the northern part of South Africa, high up in the Sotmansberg mountain range between Louis Trichat and Vivo. The area is famous for its breathtaking mountain scenery, pristine wilderness character and close proximity to other tourism destinations. La Juma is malaria free. It has been declared a natural heritage site and forms part of the Tava Yamunu Private Nature Reserve and the Sotpansberg Conservancy. We have beautiful mountain scenery, clear mountain streams with waterfalls and interesting archaeological sites. The area has a remarkable diversity of plants and rare animals such as Narina Trogon, Crested Guinea Fowl, Samangu Monkey and Red Daker. Leopards are relatively abundant but are rarely seen. La Juma operates as an ecotourism, research and environmental education center. We provide a unique nature experience through exclusive personal attention. Visitors are welcomed and assisted by the owners who will also provide information on the environment and accompany visitors on specialist walks or other activities if required. All accommodation is in suit and fully equipped for self-catering. You receive bedding, towels, all cutlery, braai facilities, lighting and wood for a fire. The waterfall lodge consists of two thatch chalets and large enclosed lapa with fireplace situated in a secluded valley overlooking a waterfall. It provides peace and tranquility for real nature lovers who want to be on their own. The forest chalet nestles against a forest and has a stunning view. It is built in period style with fireplace. The wilderness camp is situated on a high cliff overlooking a forested valley and rolling mountains. Five separate units can accommodate up to 30 people. It has a large LAPA with conference and lecture facilities. Walk along well-marked trails, climb Lechume, the highest peak of the Sotpansberg, swim in clear mountain streams, visit interesting archaeological sites and observe a variety of unique plants and animals. Guided walks, horse riding and night drives are optional. As part of our outreach program, we can arrange a unique cultural experience in an underdeveloped rural region. Stay with an indigenous family in a safe environment, experience their culture, visit a traditional healer and visit interesting natural and archaeological sites such as one of the largest nesting vulture colonies in South Africa and the unique Makhabeng Plateau rock art site. La Juma supports the Tselopelo Preschool in the rural village of Indermark in collaboration with American University in Washington. We provide educational and other equipment and fund the education of teachers. About 80 pupils benefit from this program annually.
The La Juma Conservation Center provides an opportunity for students and volunteers to do research at a low fee. We can assist students with projects on plants and a variety of animals. La Juma offers interesting opportunities for research because variation in climate and vegetation over relatively small areas provide opportunities for comparative studies at all taxonomic levels. Then uh, we also do uh, specialist courses. We've just uh, introduced a course on uh, predator research, large predator research, where students could, or anyone interested in that field, could spend two weeks with experts uh, studying various aspects of um, predators because um, there's often conflict between uh, landowners and predators. Some predators like leopard are very important in the tourism industry and all these aspects are, are studied during the course. And then we, uh, we also offer uh, an opportunity for people interested in elephants to study elephants in the Thule wilderness area in Botswana. Uh, elephant numbers in Africa has declined dramatically over the past few decades. But here in the Tuli block in Botswana, numbers are still relatively high. So high, in fact, that the elephant are starting to impact on the environment. The uh, Lajuma Conservation Center now offers the opportunity for people interested in conservation to participate in elephant research in this area. The research will concentrate on the impact of elephant on the environment. Uh, the uh, small groups of participants will study the feeding behavior of elephant, uh, the population structure, distribution, and the impact on trees and other vegetation. The La Juma Conservation Center offers orientation courses, field practicals and other tailor-made courses and activities to educational institutions. Contents of courses and activities are determined by the institution. Lectures are offered by selected academics from the region. The La Juma Conservation Center has contact with a team of specialists who can offer specialist fun field excursions on archaeology, wetland conservation, botany, butterflies, spiders and birds. These field excursions usually extend over three days, but the period can be altered if required by a group. 